military life is unpredictable, unconventional and at times inconvenient. Especially for armed forces children whose parents are constantly on the move. It's why more than 2,000 service personnel receive an allowance to help send their kids to private school, often to board. But a government plan to add VAT to private school fees could prompt many to quit the military because the cost of an undisrupted education for their children would become too high. One retired officer shared his concerns about the impact this new policy will have on his eldest son, who is also in the army, serves abroad, and whose daughter is at boarding school. If the full burden of the 20% VAT uh, comes down to him, um, I think it is highly likely that he will leave the military and find a job elsewhere. Does it feel politically incoherent for the government right now to be potentially penalising military families to the point that they might decide to, to quit serving? I think it's relatively short-sighted, um, and especially in the current uh, uncertain times in which we live, for eligible families, the government offers a continuity of education allowance worth up to £7,489 per term for primary school children and £9,080 for secondary school. But parents must still fund at least around 10% of the total fees. The Ministry of Defence says it will increase the allowance to help reduce the impact of the VAT burden though it's not yet said by how much. Even so, there'll still be a notable rise in what parents are required to pay. The Shadow Defence Secretary says the government should better protect armed forces' families from the VAT. I've had so many emails from serving officers and military personnel and their, their spouses, and they are extremely worried about this new tax, and the government needs to exempt the children and military families from it. The emails I've had are saying, I've got to choose between my child and serving my country. The head of the military says up to 90% of schooling costs will still be covered. That hopefully gives the reassurance for those that are in the scheme that this continues to provide what they're looking for, which is that the, their children won't be disrupted in their education despite their, their mum or dad serving and being moved around by people like me. The military already has a recruitment and retention crisis. It could be about to get even worse. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.